Picture this, so I'm 10 years old and it's a Friday afternoon. My dad picks me up from school and he drops me off at my grandparents' house and I'm really excited because on Fridays, I always had this ritual where I was allowed to sleep at my grandparents' place. And the reason why I liked to stay there was because there were a lot of kids that were my age back then and we used to be friends, we used to play a lot of video games together, we used to have fun and it was probably the best time of my life. I've had the greatest childhood there and as I look back at it, I've had a recent conversation with one of my friends about these days and he told me that these days weren't that perfect. He doesn't even understand why I look at it in a way where uh, these are the best years that we ever had because the future is yet to come and we're all trying to accomplish better things in life. And it got me thinking, why do I always feel nostalgic to this era, to this era of my life where I felt that I was stuck in back then because I was always looking forward to growing up. I was always looking forward to becoming an adult. And if you're watching this video, chances are you're between 20 to 22, probably 25 as well. So you can probably relate to what I'm about to say. So back then when I had my childhood, there was a lot of probably the greatest video games to ever come out. I've experienced them firsthand, even though I wasn't allowed to play most of them, but they played a huge part in my life from Grand Theft Auto Vice City to Grand Theft Auto San Andreas to the Call of Duties, the Modern Warfare to the Counter Strike. Uh, all of these legendary video games, the video games that have left an impact on the future generations, I think we got to experience them firsthand and we didn't know how lucky we were to go through such an amazing quality of games. So as I look at video games, for example, today, I can't get the same feeling from them. There's probably someone who is 10 right now who feels nostalgic towards Fortnite, probably, but I would never felt that way afterwards. So as I was growing up, I got more and more detached from video games as much as I've tried to stay consistent and to keep up with what's happening they just didn't hit the same and I think the video games played a huge part of my childhood not to mention the music so I used to listen to a lot of R&B and hip-hop music and it was speaking so my childhood was in the mid 2000s so this was the era where 50 Cent was popping off you had Eminem you had all of these rappers that uh, were blowing up and you had all of these crazy albums that uh, were being dropped from Kanye West's graduation to the Black Eyed Peas all of these uh, artists that have shaped and they've given our childhood a sound so this is why i feel every time i go on spotify and i listen to a playlist from the mid 2000s i just get hit with this nostalgia where i wish i could go back to this era just to relive it again because i've had such great memories from this era i'm probably also nostalgic for that era because unfortunately my grandparents aren't with me anymore so they passed away last year and i felt once they passed away this was like a hit to me because I was really close to them and I spent most of my childhood uh, in their home because my, my parents were both working back then so there wasn't a place for me to stay so they took care of me a lot and I've spent most of my summer with them so they also felt like my parents as well but once they've passed away I felt like this was the end of an era if you know what I mean I just felt that there was a part of me that I had to detach from so we no longer had the family home because it was rented so we had to give up the home away and even if it was still there I don't think a home will hold any value without the people that helped you create these memories there and because I no longer live in my country and I have moved away I think that the news that they both passed away and both of my grandparents they are no longer here just hit me differently there's nothing I can do about it and there, there's just this part of me, there's this past self, my past version of myself that I look at, it helped me become the person that I am today. All of these memories, all of the things that I used to care about, from watching wrestling to playing PlayStation 2 games to all the sleepless nights that we've had, I think this era, I mean the mid-2000s, is gonna go down in history as the greatest era of all time, at least for me, because this was the time where I was completely free. I felt like there was nothing holding me back. Even though I didn't realize how important the days that I've had back then were 
to my own personality. Now, as I look back at it, I'm really grateful to have been able to experience such a great childhood without social media, without the internet. We were genuinely happy with what we had. We didn't have all of this technology, all of this cutting edge technology. We weren't connected to the internet 24 seven. We didn't need that. We didn't need to upload our pictures. Maybe we had some blurry pictures on Facebook, but that was about it. There was nothing taking away your attention from you. I remember I had a lot of time on my hands. I was really obsessing and counting the days for when I'll become an adult. And now as I'm an adult, it feels like I no longer have a lot of time for myself. I feel like I'm going through the motions in my life from going to work to buying groceries to paying your bills. All of these stuff that are required for you to do as an adult, you are expected to be doing these things. They just feel so bland and boring. They, they no longer feel exciting anymore. If you go to your job, you're lucky if you get two weeks of holiday a year. If you are lucky, you can get probably three that you use to travel and you go on holiday and you explore the world more. But I mean, at the end of the day, you no longer feel like you are attached to time. I don't know if you can understand this, but back when I was a kid, for example, I used to count the days until summer. Summer just felt like such an incredible event for me. I was really looking forward to it because I wanted to meet with all of my friends. We were gonna have a lot of plans and we didn't have anything to worry about. It just felt like you were completely free. But right now, you no longer feel that you are free. There are always bills to pay there's always rent that is due you can no longer relax and sit back and even if you try to relax there's something in your mind that's telling you you need to make money you need to be productive you cannot slack anymore you have to create something for yourself and i don't want this video to come off as me nagging or saying that i want to be lazy or i don't want to do anything but as i compare my life today to the life that i used to have before i just feel like there's this this huge difference that I moved on from, I'm no longer dwelling on the past or anything, but I'm just so happy and so glad to have been able to experience such a great childhood. And I think if you've had any similar experiences, you can really relate to this. So cheers to us and let's keep our heads up and keep looking to the future because greater things are gonna come in our life and it's not about the past. We can use the past to look back at it and feel nostalgic about it but you cannot go back you can always go forward even though time doesn't feel the same anymore and we've all evolved and we've all grown up and as you look at your past friends you can see that most of them are starting families they are getting married some of them you probably have no contact with anymore but that's just the way life is life is crazy and you have to embrace every single part of it so thanks for watching this video man and i'll see you on the next one